All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about the rapper Eminem. I feel like I don't even really need to do an introduction for this person. I feel like pretty much anyone watching this video, regardless of whether or not you listen to rap music, you probably know who Eminem is. He's one of the most famous people pretty much of all time. At this point, he's pretty much instantly recognizable to such a vast portion of the population. He's got tens of millions of followers across pretty much all of his social media platforms. He has sold more than 220 million records worldwide, making him one of the greatest selling musical artists of all time. He's also the only rapper to ever have won the Academy Award and a global, uh, glo uh, bleh, Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song, which uh, apparently he got for Lose Yourself, which is one of his most popular songs. I'm reading this from the article we're about to take a look at. But Eminem has recently gotten himself in the news slash gotten some controversy from the folks over on Twitter because, well, the, the NFT bros finally got Eminem and, uh, well, Eminem now owns NFTs. I feel like most of you are probably scratching your head a little bit, right? Sitting down wondering like, wow, what happened with Eminem? Uh, why is this even a big deal? Uh, well, if you didn't know, people who purchase NFTs are like widely memed on the internet. And I know a lot of you probably don't even know what an NFT is. So let me go ahead and just start by breaking down the basics behind everything, because this is kind of a, a complicated situation in a way. So NFT stands for non-fungible token, and essentially what this is, is it's a receipt for a transaction, okay? So you'll go on these platforms where you can buy an NFT, and there's different art collections and pictures and, and different things that you can buy. They have NFT video games, just straight up NFT pictures, there's GIFs on there, there's NFT videos, all kinds of different things. And essentially when you buy like an NFT, right, you, you're buying the receipt that proves that you purchased the, I guess, option or the item or whatever on the blockchain technology uh, this is all done through cryptocurrency primarily people purchase nfts through ethereum which is one of the more popular cryptocurrencies and these collections they explode in popularity a lot of the times like these ones that like the board ape yacht board ape yacht club something like that I, there, there's all kinds of different ones man uh, the most popular ones appear to just be artwork of monkeys doing different goofy faces with different clothes sometimes they don't have clothes and instead the head is fucking exploded and like the eyeballs are coming out or they're a zombie or their face is rotted off or something. You know, there's just different variations basically of this ape and you're buying a receipt that proves that you purchased this thing on the blockchain, right? That's the best way that I can explain it in layman's terms. It's kind of complicated, kind of not. It's very understandable when you really do a little bit of research into it, but there are some downsides to purchasing NFTs, one of which, and realistically the most talked about one, is the fact that they are terrible for the environment. So the cryptocurrencies that these transactions are oftentimes based on, they require a large amount of electricity to generate the, you know, transaction and everything. So by purchasing an NFT, you are essentially uh, committing a transaction that's horrible for the environment because of the amount of electricity that it uses, which obviously for the most part is created using fossil fuels. Fuels. So it's widely seen online as a way for people with money to just kind of throw money around. It's oftentimes seen as a scam. People are just holding the bag for a quote unquote bigger idiot who's willing to purchase it for a higher value and all these different things. It's very looked down upon on the internet. People who take NFTs seriously are oftentimes just memed or disrespected. You know, there's the big meme going around right now that they're gonna screenshot your NFT. Oh my God, they're gonna screenshot my NFT. You know, I spent 400,000 on this thing and they screenshotted it like, yeah, I get it, you know. But yeah, Eminem uh, has collected some of these and is now in some sort of controversy. People on Twitter were very upset to hear this news. The legendary Detroit rapper Eminem has aped into the Board 8 Yacht Club. It, it's so confusing to me, man. Uh, he purchased one of the Ethereum-based apes for 123.45 Ethereum, around $452,000, on Thursday night and has since made the ape his profile picture on Twitter. Meanwhile, he appears to have collected at least 15 NFTs so far on OpenSea under the name Shady Holdings. Eminem is one of the best-selling musical artists of all time, having sold more than 220 million records worldwide. He's also the only rapper to ever have won an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song, which he won for Lose Yourself in the movie 8 Mile. He's also won numerous American Music Awards and 15 Grammy Awards. Fellow Bored Ape Yacht Club member Guy Gaza sold the blonde ape to Eminem, announcing today that the sale becoming a reality is, quote, madness, and remarking, quote, I'm living in a simulation. Eminem has not commented publicly on the sale. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the NFT that Eminem purchased and let you guys see this for yourself. So... 
This is what Eminem spent 400 and what is it here? $452,000 on was essentially this picture of this white ape that resembles him, you know, as a little chain, got the little hat, you know, the, I, I call it the Eminem hat because it's just kind of synonymous with his persona and whatnot at this point. But uh, yeah, this is, this is basically the NFT that he bought. And a lot of you who don't understand NFTs are going to be very, very confused by this. But dude, these pictures sell for fucking bank. Yes, Eminem bought this thing for damn near half a million dollars. And the crazy thing is, obviously, this doesn't mean shit to Eminem. I mean, this guy's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. He's one of the most famous people on the planet. $452,000 to, like, you or me, that's pretty much everything, right? Like, that that's a lot of money. But obviously, when you're Eminem and you've sold 220 million albums worldwide, you have your own famous spaghetti restaurant that's been doing very well. You got your own record label and everything. I mean, it, it doesn't really mean that much to you. So he's collected 15 of these NFTs, and now that it's become public, people have been freaking the fuck out. So people are upset because apparently, you know, they can't fathom the idea that their favorite celebrity or their idol or one of their favorite rappers would support something as environmentally destructive as NFTs. Now, personally, I'm going to go ahead and just say I really don't think that this is willing of a massive controversy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that this is very deserving considering the fact that so many celebrities are buying into NFTs at this point, man. I mean, it seems like every day you log into Twitter, a new celebrity has an NFT as their profile picture. Me personally, I don't purchase NFTs. I don't really fuck with the concept of NFTs right now. I feel like the technology is still very bare bones and it needs a little bit more time to flesh out before it's something I'm really interested in personally, but... It's not hard to see why a lot of people are interested in them, man. I mean, there, there's literally 18-year-olds out here that are selling NFTs and making six figures in their fucking parents' you know, spare bedroom or something, right? It's very understandable where all the hype is coming from. There is a lot of money to be made into them. And if you're a celebrity man and you got the spare cash to buy an NFT or two or 15 if you're Eminem, uh, I mean, it's definitely an investment to take a look at. I feel like people kind of are overblowing a lot of the NFT hate. Like, I understand the memes and the jokes and the shit posts. Like, that's cool. But, I mean, people are, like, genuinely upset that Eminem bought this NFT or these NFTs and... I don't really see the point. First and foremost, I Eminem has been known for not giving a fuck about what people think his entire career, right? Like, I mean, he's literally built an entire career and massive following off the concept of just not giving a fuck what people think. So I don't know why people think that's going to change now and then being mad that he bought an NFT means he's going to fucking, you know, leave the NFT game so he doesn't upset his fans. He doesn't give a fuck for multiple reasons. Number one, Eminem, once again, known for not caring. And then number two, he's so rich that it doesn't matter. Like, what are you really going to do to Eminem? You know, you're going to cancel him? People have literally fucking picketed about this man. There's been rallies and, and fucking protests against him. People have tried banning his music and have tried to get parents everywhere to stop letting their children listen to Eminem. Like, you think he really gives a fuck now, 30 years into his career, because he bought some fucking goofy looking ape art off the internet for half a million and people on Twitter don't like it? I mean, let's get real here. Sure, if you want to criticize him for buying the NFT, by all means, go ahead. I really don't mind. I understand the criticism and I understand why people don't like him and whatnot, but people are acting like just because they fucking made a tweet saying that they, they don't support him buying an NFT that he's going to fucking go to the, the the studio and tell everyone hey bro i'm selling all my nfts plus it's also rumored that eminem himself didn't even purchase these nfts and they were done on his behalf by paul which is one of his close friends and i believe business partners as well if this is referring to the rec the correct person i would think this is paul rosenberg who's been around for a vast majority of his career at this point so I was looking through Twitter and I was really trying to find someone who reasonably explained why everyone is so mad about this. And uh, I found one tweet, I think, that kind of does. Because most people love him because he never went for the jewelry and the money, show off style. He was always laid back and did his own thing. And him buying into what everyone else is doing kind of makes people feel like he's losing his touch. Okay, so honestly, this take doesn't really make any sense to me because number one, uh, right here, he's buying into what everyone else is doing kind of makes people feel like he's losing touch. I, that seems like the opposite of losing touch to me. It feels like, you know, if you kind of like are aware of the current trends in society and aware of the current like business trends, like that would think, I would think you're more in tune and more in touch at that point, right? You wouldn't say your boomer grandpa is more in touch with technology when he doesn't know what fucking Bitcoin NFTs or fucking Steam downloads are, right? But people are going to make that argument because Eminem bought some NFTs. And then, uh, you know, they say that he was laid back and always did his own thing. He was never flashy. He never went for the jewelry or, or any of that shit. 
You can literally find pictures of Eminem with chains online. It's not that hard to find. If you look up Eminem with chain, there will be about 30 pictures that pop up of him, you know, in freestyles and interviews where he's wearing chains. So this idea that Eminem never spent his money on anything flashy is not only false, but it's it's demonstrably false because you can just go online and find pictures of him with chains. Granted, you know, he's not doing the fucking, you know, current trend in rap or whatever where people wear like nine different chains. He's not doing the fucking Lil Baby chains or anything like that but i mean yeah he still was known for wearing jewelry at some points dudes wore do rags in the past you know all types of shit like he doesn't care also this was literally his house so what do you mean he doesn't buy flashy shit the dude literally lived in a fucking private city i mean this guy's known for making crazy purchases Let, let's get real here i mean do i blame him no i mean if i had hundreds of millions of dollars i'd be living in a fucking crazy house doing this stuff too but I feel like people are really misinterpreting a lot of what Eminem did throughout his whole career. Sure, you know, in his rap and whatnot, he, he wasn't always spieling on about fucking chains and money and all that. That's great, you can say that, but let's not pretend that this guy was known for living in a quaint little house with no jewelry and never flashing out with anything here, so. With his new Eminape, Eminem has officially joined the second largest NFT project on OpenSea by volume. The Bored Apes Yacht Club has traded 284,765 Ethereum, or 900 and $77.6 million so far in secondary sales according to Crypto Slam, and the floor price is currently sitting at 60 Ethereum, or about a quarter million dollars. Eminem has joined the many other celebrities who have aped in so far, including NBA star Stephen Curry and talk show host Jimmy Fallon. Board Apes recently surpassed CryptoPunks and floor price, a huge achievement for a project that just started in April 2021. So, you know, you don't really see the fact that Steph Curry or any of these other people bought NFTs, even if you agree or disagree with it. You gotta admit, it's a little hypocritical that Eminem gets slammed for buying this shit, but every other celebrity can buy him with no fucking problem. I mean, shit, even in the rap game, right? Like, other rappers actually even do NFTs. I mean, Lil Baby, who's one of the biggest rappers on the planet right now, his profile picture on Twitter, I believe, is also one of these fucking ape pictures or whatever, Board Ape Yacht Club. I, I think that's what it is, I don't know. And he's always tweeting about nfts man so it just it really kind of seems like since it's been kind of more popular to shit on eminem on social media in recent years that's a little bit of the catalyst behind all of this but i do genuinely understand the concerns with the trend of nfts and the problems that they provide and everything and i understand why people don't like them but i feel like people are a little bit i would say too quick to shit on someone for buying these. I mean, it's very apparent that Eminem is going to be trying to make money in whatever way that he can, right? So so with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about NFTs and Eminem and signing out.